In this video I'll be discussing the three main types of plastics and I'll be talking about polymers but also materials that have the same sort of properties as polymer based plastics but are not falling into the polymer category. Now the three main types of plastics that you might be aware of are thermoplastics, thermosetting plastics and thermoplastic elastomers or elastomers as they might be shortened to. Now thermoplastics as we know can be reshaped and formed with heat and that breaks down these these van der Waals bonds in the plastic and makes them easier to be reshaped. Now the main difference between thermoplastic materials and thermosets is that thermosets once formed cannot be unformed, yeah, they're set and that's how you can remember that because thermosetting they set. Elastomers have molecules that are long chain but they, they could be considered or are likened to springs so that when you distort the material you can press it or you stretch it, the materials or the molecules in it distort as well and they will return to their original shape, they've got that elastomeric property to them. Now a lot of designers use elastomers and often thermoplastic elastomers which is obviously can be formed similar to thermoplastics and have the same sort of qualities because they've got those elastomeric properties to them that can be formed with the standard sort of machines that you might use with thermoplastics, things like injection moulding and blow moulding. So it means that you can produce things much quicker than you could with sort of synthetic rubbers or thermosetting natural rubbers because you don't have to wait for those cross links to form, okay? You just have to wait for the material to cool and then it can be ejected from the machine. So things like um, electrical components like insulating for wires and cables, if you want a better grip on a toothbrush for example like in the A2 case study or grips on power tools and things like this, these can be over molded through the injection molding process to provide grip for materials and seals and hoses for sort of automotive or industrial applications could be made from thermoplastic elastomers. Now liquid silicon rubber is another material that has elastomeric properties but this time it's a thermosetting elastomer. Now the reason it's a thermosetting elastomer is because once formed it cannot be reformed and it's made of generally a two-part uh, mixture one with the actual liquid and the other the catalyst. Now the main reason why liquid silicon rubber is used is its advantage to be a good insulator and also have these elastomeric characteristics but even at the most highest and lowest of temperature ranges. So you can use liquid silicon rubber or silicon is sometimes shortened to between minus 50 degrees centigrade all the way up to 250 degrees centigrade. So it's useful for a wide range of applications and you may have even used things like uh, silicon bakeware at home or you, you've seen your, your mum or your dad using trays and spatulas that have these kind of materials used in them. Now I talked about materials that have thermoplastic properties but aren't polymer based. Now one example of this for example is clay, okay, but unlike polymers you don't use heat to uh, change the thermoplastic qualities of clay in its wet state, you would have used water and this would obviously make it more easy to manipulate. Another example of this would be uh, like paper pulp, okay? So again, by adding water, we can turn the paper pulp into a more broken down substance and we can then use that to form it into molded paper products and also it's the basis of paper recycling. Now like polymers, other materials that offer thermoplastic qualities when they're heated up are metals and glass because obviously these can be formed in different processes but the application of heat makes them easier to manipulate, makes them more ductile and uh, malleable. Now just like thermoplastic materials, there are thermosetting materials that are not polymer based. Examples of these might be for example cements, concretes and also ceramics. 